Hello, people of the internet. This is Starry Like Waffles, and um, this is my first video on my account, and I'm really excited because, well, this is actually a drawing, um, a drawing speed paint kind of sort of thing um, account. Um, so, um, my friend was asking me to put on a video on how I make, um, how I draw. Now, I'm gonna try and write her a username. E and D E R Queen M C. Yeah, okay, here's her username. And if you want to go follow her on Instagram, you can go do that because I um, really suggest it because she posts really cool art. She even drew me a piece of art and we kind of traded. So, yeah, and if this is my username okay here you go mine is starry like swaffles and hers is under queen mc so you guys you guys should follow us because um why not i mean what's the real reason why not to follow us because we're because we're cool i guess um anyways <laughs> anyways um so she was asking me to put on a tutorial on how i draw so that's what i'm going to do now um i honestly don't use my ipad as much as i use my um my um computer i use, usually use my computer to draw because um yeah I guess I guess I'm used to it I guess now but I it takes time to get used to the computer so here we go so I use this thing called Medibang um, it's right here M-E-D-I-B-A-N-G paint pro and it's a completely free program and they do have an iPad and iPhone version so if you you're used to drawing on that oops <laughs> you can draw on you can use that um but i'm using it on the computer i'm doing a computer tutorial because i'm used to it okay so let's say i want to draw what do i want to draw um yeah and i use my correction tool quite a lot you know you can just find out what correction you you like i usually use like 9 19 or 0 i don't usually go in the middle because then i kind of just kind of like weird for me if i go in the middle yeah i don't like this like my hands make very ragged movements unless i'm drawing with a pencil and i don't like scanning my stuff and and yeah i don't like scanning my stuff and using that Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways. So, um, how do I draw? You're probably wondering. Well, first, I sometimes... Oh, no. Sometimes I go for inspiration. And I'm just going to do the line art in this video. Because I don't really want to overuse my time here. Um, sometimes I look for inspiration. Like, this is cute. Um, I just kind of, like, scroll Google. But... I think I'm just gonna, if I can, I'm gonna try drawing a girl on her knees, like a Neko girl, I guess. So, um, first I'd like to draw the head. I don't know if anybody else likes to do something different, but, um, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff on my computer. Um, yeah, I'd like to draw my heads first, and... So this is something I saved. It's a base basically and it's just basically it's just a head. Um it's like a circle so I can it's like a base for my head cuz it's really tiring I have to draw the head over and over and over considering the fact that I'm not good at this. Okay. So how did I just do that? You're probably wondering like what are those? You do control T to appear on the screen and then it's called transform view and you can try to just move around your picture however you like you can make it bigger oh no i didn't mean to do that actually no okay you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can make it whatever size you want and i think i want to make it 
maybe about right here and let's have the girl over here so I can put my initials or whatever I want um there you go okay so let's say I like that because I kind of do okay brush controls change the sizes of the brush and the opacity bottom is opacity and this is size sorry um my parents are babysitting um <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just playing around with it because it is pretty fun to play around with this. And Medibang is supposedly for anime. So if you like drawing anime and manga, this is the program for you, I guess. So I'm just going to try drawing her head. Let's see. Hug. <sighs> Sometimes, I swear. And we all, if you draw a lot, you know you have those days where, like, oh my gosh, you're just like, oh my gosh, I can draw. Like, for real. Like, I'm actually not critiquing my art it doesn't look horrible in my opinion and other days you're just like why is the why <laughs> just why anyways um i'm just gonna use this for the time being because we're gonna put hair on her and stuff so i'm just as i said i think i said it before i'm just gonna do the liner in this video so don't worry if you're on a rush schedule or whatever okay let's say i like that okay now i draw the body So, I usually draw like, I don't know, do I want to let me again look for inspiration for like clothing or something like that. Oh my gosh, it's a lucky star. Of course, people like to be weird and do that kind of stuff. But you know what? It's lucky star. That's all that matters. Um, um, let's see. Uh, that's from Mew Mew Power. I don't want to copy her outfit. Um, I guess I just can do, like, something, like, with a bow, I guess. A bow and, like, stuff. Okay, let's say I want to copy this or change it somehow um because i i know i can't draw that ever again because <laughs> that's like perfect um what i do is i either use this tool which surrounds it and i just kind of like draw around the area i want to select and then i press copy and then paste or okay and then i do Control t to move it we're just gonna do that for a second just so we can um see what else I can do um then or control D to deselect by the way you keep that in your mind because you're gonna need it or I use this tool right here to select the drawing control T move it up layer rotate flip horizontally I believe yes and there you go now you have a whole nother um and then control d done to select and there you go you have an entirely new um you have an entirely new side to your bow or whatever you want you can do this with heads you can do this with whatever you want Okay. Oh, true. Before you do any of that, what you want to do? You want to click layer, merge all. There you go. 
and now they're at one layer or you do layer I think there's something that says merge below but I can't find it I don't know why <laughs> it's probably right in front of my eyes and I'm just like avoiding it just like nah <laughs> um anyways let's see um okay say like that now the hands I, I usually get stuck on a lot they take me a while to get used to because like you wanna have them really down packed my drawing because hands are like one of the most important parts like I guess if you especially if you're OC or whatever whoever you're drawing has like multiple arms because I know like people like to make fantasy characters Steven Universe OCs I love Steven Universe by the way <laughs> high five um anyways um um Actually, I think I'd want to make her hands go another way. Ugh. And I don't like her shoulders. <laughs> her shoulders bother me. Now, I could use a transform tool, but I like to take my time on my stuff. Stuff. Because, depending on what it is, I like to take my time. My friend might be calling me any second because I, I want beer B. So, she might make an appearance in the call in the video whatever okay first of all stop just go away okay 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 redo god dang it um control r i think is to read or you can just select this yeah let me just do that because i don't know what i'm doing and yeah okay there you go so Okay. Let's say it like that. Actually, that's actually really short armed, and I think I should make them longer. Okay. If you don't understand anything I'm doing in this, if you're like, what are those? Or what are you doing? I'm so confused. Um, just comment below. I will tell you if if there's anything. Now, Medibang, I'm going to tell you a little about Medibang as I draw the body. Medibang is actually by a company, I think it's called Fire Alpaca. Well, that's what the main thing was called. Um, it was it's a drawing program itself but medibang is especially for anime it's like an anime drawing community um you can make an account and that links you to all anime oh my gosh why are you not looking correctly there you go i guess maybe that will look better <laughs> my anatomy is not working <laughs> with me <laughs> okay um yeah, I'll fix it. I'll fix the head. I'll make the head smaller, I guess. Um, so, I could go simple or I could go, like, long. I could take a while. Oh, yeah, and if you're wondering how I did that undo thing, you're just like, wait a minute, what was that? Um, it was control Z to undo. I think I said, I don't know if I said that. I'm so confused. <laughs> um, anyways, it's control Z to undo and to redo. Let me just see. Edit, redo, control Y, not control. Okay, go away. <laughs> um, control Y to redo. Um, I 
I don't know. Do I still want to keep this bow? Actually, I have another idea. <laughs> yeah, see, drawing is like that. If you guys are wondering how I draw, like, how I draw on this, like, how much time it takes. It takes me a while, considering, like, my ideas change throughout the entire picture. And I'm like, wait a minute. I can make this look ten times better if I did this. And it takes me, like, ten extra minutes to do that. Yeah. It's pretty weird. Okay, let's say this is not really cooperating with me, so we're going to use that tactic again. I'm going to show you how to do it with this one now. You want to color the selection you are, you want to copy. Okay. And then you want to do control T. Again, this is transform view. And then do control C and then control V. It's copy and paste. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Um, then, what you want to do is it's gonna say layer. You want to go to the layer tab right here. I don't know if you could do this in the iPad version. I'll try doing i doing an iPad version um, tutorial soon if you guys want me to. Um, then you want to do flip horizontally which means it rips it to the side do control T again and put it over here and click OK then to get rid of this instead of erasing it because I don't think it works it doesn't work like that okay anyways do control D it's control D select that's what it stands for if you're wondering then do edit or layer and then merge all just click OK and it'll be fine. If you're wondering what these are, don't worry what they are. They're just different texture tools. You can find the one you like. Um, but I usually use pen, especially for my base layer. And why do her shoulders look weird? Well, um, we'll be right back. I'll pause the recording and fix it. Okay guys, we're back. I decided <laughs> Yeah, my friends are calling. Um I've decided not to pause the recording solely because I think oh my gosh, people will be texting me. Um well phone it just interrupted me. Hi low phone. Um I've decided not to fix it because um I wanna show you guys the struggle. <laughs> Cause the struggle is real with this. Um it's not the um the actual program. The program makes it ten times easier, honestly. Um, um, but it's just kind of like getting it perfect and getting it so you're satisfied and my friends are calling me and they really want me to answer. Oh, I'm sorry you can't answer. Anyways. Anyways. So we're gonna just curve her shoulders so they don't look so pointy. Doesn't look like she's in a uniform. Okay. I forgot how to draw shoes from front view. Like I haven't done it in so long. Straw boots on her. Let's draw like a nice small skirt on her. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm like brain farting. Oh, they're calling, they're, they're making noises. Oh my gosh, I should have gone and do not disturb. I just noticed that. Why didn't I do that? Okay. Whatever, they can't be that noisy. Hopefully they're not going to annoy you guys. I don't know if you guys can hear it anyways. I don't know if I turned that on.
they are going to start calling me again. I know it. They're going to call me one more time. Um. Anyways. So, I don't know how I want. Do I want like a v-neck? Yeah, I think I'll just go with that. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is just erase the, um, excess work, and there you go. So now I want to draw her hair. Um, how I draw hair, I take a lot of time on my hair, honestly. Um, depending on what it is. Um, I usually take a while on this OC. Yes, I have OCs, okay? Don't, like, comment on my OC saying this one's ugly and this one's unfinished. I really don't care. Like, they're unfinished for a reason. Like, having unfinished OCs is exciting because then, like, as you go, you just kind of, like, make up whatever you want for them. That's what I say. Okay. There we go. There's a hair I think I want to fix a little bit. Like up here. I think I want to make like her have like a part in her hair. Um, right there. So I think I want her hair to be like... I don't want it to... <gasps> Stop texting me. <laughs> um. <laughs> wow. Well, that was rude. <laughs> I'm busy. Said pie making a drawing video <laughs> you're in it now say hi anyways um, that's gonna bother me like I can't look down anymore because I'm gonna see my Skype notifications and I'm gonna say my mind's gonna say check it check it check it check it it could be something important and my friends could be dying and texting me on Skype for no reason yeah yeah my mind is pretty strange I guess I'm just drawing I don't know do I want to draw my Neko Lucy without hair with, without hair, I mean, I say as I'm drawing the hair, um, without Neko ears, I don't know, do I, do I, do I, do I, um, Okay, yeah, I guess I'll, I drew one ear. I might as well draw the other, you know? Okay. So now I'm going to use the lasso tool this time so I can show you guys a really in- Oh, a really in-depth tutorial on how I do this. Okay, take the lasso tool. And you just kind of surround. This one's actually, I guess it's a little bit harder than the other one. But you just surround it with the picture you want. Do control T again. Control C, Control V. Rotate, flip horizontally. 
Control T. You guys should just find the one that you like the most. You shouldn't really say, "Oh my gosh, this one she did. This one's the first one I saw, so I'm gonna use this one." I honestly recommend finding the one that you like, um, because like this, this is all about you. This is your drawing, this is your stuff. And with this, yes, you can copy people's artwork with. I recommend not doing that. Please don't do that, guys. Like, that's really rude, and you really should not do that. Okay, merge all. You really should not do that, and I'm pretty sure you know you should not be doing that. So why are you doing it? Just don't copy people's artwork. So you guys should just make your own artwork if you are copying. Just just chill. Chill for a good second. But my friend said hi to you guys. Okay, well, that is like the perfect eye I've ever drawn. Well, um, I honestly like this tool better because it's less of a hassle. You can also use this tool, which is like basically it makes a square in around it, but that's only for square stuff. If you're drawing, if you're like circling like a face, it's going to be harder to do, but yeah, I personally, I like this tool better because it's less of a coloring matter. You just circle around it control c control v layer rotate flip horizontally yeah there's no key binds for that which is a little disappointing but i guess i guess i'll live i mean and i don't even have the most updated version so you guys should download the most updated version i have it on my other laptop i have it on my laptop um it's not much different from this. I don't think there is. I think it's just a more steadier version, I guess, probably. And, yeah. So, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um. Oops. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me draw and watching the pain. And I will make a video on how to color this soon. And I hope you enjoyed the video. So, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, she's my